In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will study about voltage regulator ICs, wherein we will study its introduction and different types of voltage regulator ICs, such as IC78XX, IC79XX, and LM317. Let's start with the introduction. In the previous chapter, we have already seen the Zener voltage regulators and transistorized voltage regulators. But voltage regulation can be carried out using ICs also. Such ICs are called as voltage regulator ICs. There are three types of ICs which can be used as regulators. IC78XX series used as positive voltage regulators. IC79XX series used as negative voltage regulators and LM317 used as adjustable voltage regulators. Let's start with the series of 78XX ICs. These are used as positive voltage regulators and supply a constant output voltage. The last two XX when replaced by digits represent the output voltage. For example, IC7805 will produce an output voltage of 5 volts. IC7812 will produce an output voltage of 12 volts. It's a three terminal IC with the leads as input, output and ground. Note that pin numbers of these ICs may vary as per the manufacturers. Let's learn about the working of IC7805 now. It is implemented in a circuit as shown. We have two capacitors connected to IC7805, one between the input and ground terminal and second between the output and ground terminal. The first capacitor takes out any ripple coming out from the transformer so that IC7805 receives a smooth input voltage. The second capacitor acts as a load balancer to ensure consistent output from 7805 as plus 5 volts. The specifications of IC7805 are as follows with an input voltage of 5 volts to 18 volts and an output voltage of 4.8 volts to 5.2 volts. Thus, it supplies a constant output of around 5 volts even if the input varies from 5 volts to 18 volts. Now let's study ICs of 79XX series. As 78XX series, ICs provide positive regulated output. 79XX series ICs provide regulated negative output. They are mainly implemented in the circuits like operational amplifiers which need a dual power supply like plus V, zero, minus V. Here also the last two digits represent the output voltage. Thus, 7905 supplies a constant voltage of minus 5 volts. 7912 provides a constant voltage of minus 12 volts, etc. Let's study their working now. The supply voltage of regulator IC must be greater than minus 2 volts or the input voltage applied must be greater than the expected output voltage. This IC also has three terminals as input, ground and output. Two capacitors are connected as C1 between input and ground and C2 between output and ground. C1 takes out any ripple from the signal and supplies a constant signal to the IC. And C2 acts as a loader balancer to ensure a consistent output. Thus IC7905 will provide output voltage of minus 5 volts. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. The next IC is LM317. IC78XX and IC79XX supplied constant voltages. LM317 is a very commonly used adjustable voltage regulator IC. LM317 is an IC with three terminals such as input, output and adjust. The adjustable voltage regulators have the following advantages over fixed voltage regulators. Improved line or load regulation by factor of 10 or more. Improved reliability of power supply. Improved overload protection. The connection diagram of LM317 is as shown below. 
It requires only two external resistors, R1 and R2, to set the required output voltage. Internally, it develops a reference voltage of 1.25 volts between the out and adjust terminals, which is denoted as V reference. This voltage is imposed on the resistance R1. Thus, when R1 is constant and reference voltage is constant, current IR1 always remains constant. Thus, resistor R1 is called as the current set resistor. Current I adjust flows from the adjust terminal. This current, along with current IR1, flows through the resistance R2. The design of LM317 is such that the current I adjust is very small and remains constant even though the line voltage and load changes. Applying KVL, we can write V0 equals VR1 plus VR2. V0 equals IR1 into R1 plus IR1 plus I adjust into R2. As I adjust is very small, IR1 plus I adjust is nearly equal to IR1. Thus, V0 equals IR1 into R1 plus IR1 into R2. Hence, by adjusting resistance R2, we can keep I adjust small, which supplies a constant output irrespective of change in the input voltage. Let's take a quick review of what we have studied in this lecture. ICs used for voltage regulations are called as regulator ICs. We studied three types of regulator ICs, such as IC78XX series, IC79XX series, and LM317. IC78XX is a series of voltage regulators which supplies a constant positive voltage. Last two XX represent the output voltage value. For example, 7805 provides an output of 5 volts, 7812 provides an output of 12 volts, etc. It has three terminals as input, output and ground. IC79XX is a regulator IC which supplies a constant negative voltage. Even here, the last two digits represent the output, but the required condition is that the input voltage should be greater than minus 2 volts or the input should be greater than output voltage. Lastly, we studied what was LM317, which is a variable voltage regulator. It has three terminals as input, output and adjust.